Hello, my name is Tara Malloy, and I'm the Senior Director of Appellate Litigation and Strategy at the Campaign Legal Center. In the case Americans for Prosperity v. Bonta, the Supreme Court struck down a California law that required nonprofits that were active in the state to provide a list of their largest donors to the California AG on a confidential non-public basis. The reason for this law was to ensure that the California AG had the information it needed to provide enforcement and oversight over the charitable sector in the state and to prevent fraud and charitable self-dealing. The petitioners though, which were two special interest groups, the Americans for Prosperity and the Thomas More Legal Center, challenged this law and claimed that it was going to chill their donors' First Amendment rights. Unfortunately today, the Supreme Court agreed and sided with Americans for Prosperity and special interests. So the case is important because it marks a very skeptical Supreme Court look at a donor disclosure law, albeit a donor disclosure law that's very unique and specific to the state of California. That said, a lot of commentators are not just worried about how this case will impact charitable reporting or charitable oversight. They're also concerned about how it may more broadly impact other transparency measures, most especially campaign finance disclosure laws. We do not believe it's going to go much beyond the facts of this very case. Campaign finance laws are supported by very de different governmental interests in this California law and are justified by the desire to ensure that our electorate is well informed when it goes to the polls. So there's really no reason to believe that the Americans for Prosperity ruling will have a broad or lasting impact on electoral transparency measures because such measures are so different from the California law that was struck down today.